Greetings once again, Chaotix. This is Mama Jen. So I thought instead of doing our pay by pay budget this time, I would just do a month's worth of a budget and just divide it into chunks on the construction paper here. Um, I'm doing this largely for my own sanity more than anybody else's because lately I have been slipping up and doing our budget and um, I just wanted to have a one piece of paper that has everything on it for the next month so that way um, hopefully I won't forget to actually implement what I'm doing. Um, lately I've been doing it in a notebook and then I just put the notebook away and then as a result then when paychecks come I just sort of like guess instead of getting the notebook so I'm going to be sticking this um, on my refrigerator so I can look at it anyways. So our next paycheck is February 17th. We are estimating that it will be about a thousand dollars we are going to tie the hundred dollars groceries. I'm gonna, and that's including toiletries as well. Four hundred dollars. Internet's eighty dollars. Uh, my husband's cell phone is one hundred and seventy dollars. Car insurance is sixty-three dollars. Hulu is eight dollars. Student loan ten dollars. Electric sixty-nine dollars. Gas a hundred dollars. And any extra, um, I put new swimsuits for all for homeschool swimming in March because I did sign them up. Um, for homeschool swimming at our local rec center, uh, but it won't start until the middle of March, I think. Uh, the March 3rd paycheck, I'm estimating again $1,000, tie the 100, rent 790, gas 100, any extras, swimsuits again, groceries, electric, and then savings up to $112. I'll explain why in just a moment. Well, after the end, probably towards the end. The March 17th paycheck, again, I'm estimating $1,000. The only reason I'm estimating that is because I was estimating $1,300, and his checks are somewhere usually during this time of year between $1,000 and $1,300. So I just figured this time I'm going to go on the low end because I don't want to um, overestimate, and then we don't have the money to pay these things. So tithe, $100. Groceries, again, $400. Internet, $40 this time. Um, I put 80 up here because um, I'm trying to pay a little bit extra on that. So hopefully by this time, it'll be about two or three months ahead, I'm hoping. Um, my husband's cell phone, 170 car insurance, 63 Hulu, $8. Student loan, $10. Electric, $100. Gas, $100. Now, this is the month, uh, the first time of the year where we get three paychecks because of the month being so long. This usually happens somewhere between February, March, or April, and then it happens again somewhere in September or October, depending on how the weeks go. Um, so this is the third paycheck. So we're actually paying like we did for this one up here. We're going to do tie the $100, rent $790, gas $100, and then any extra goes to, towards groceries, electric, or savings um, up to $112 again. And... We're also getting our tax return this year. Um, several of you have let me know, and I did look on the um, IRS as well as the, um, the filing system that I use online, and it did say that we are going to be expecting a delay because of the fact that we had um, the earned income child or tax credit. I don't know which one it's called, but as a result, we should not be expecting it until the end of February or possibly uh, sometime in the middle of March even. So they said that we should at least look forward to it by the end of February. So we'll see how that goes because we did file a little later than usual this year. Our federal this year um, actually was a little bit lower. I think we got into a higher tax bracket or something. My, my best friend had said the same thing about hers. It came to $4,713. Our state came to $306. Both of these are lower than they what they were last year. We made a little bit more this year and I always put anticipated may change for the state one because if any of you live in Idaho um, whenever I file it always gives me the option to do a grocery tax credit I don't know why but um, the past few years sometimes it'll accept it sometimes it won't and then as a result that will that number will change so I always just kind of guess on that but that's what it said so we're gonna see how that goes this year so we're gonna put a thousand and nineteen dollars toward emergency savings a thousand towards um, Aaron's gun, gun training, gun license, and hunting license. 
That's a whole mouthful. My husband has said that he wanted to really badly get a gun and learn how to use it. And we don't really have anybody um, nearby that, um, like a family member or anything that does know how to use guns. Although we do know a lot of people that have guns, um, they don't feel comfortable really teaching him something like that. So we would like to see about getting him some gun training classes. And that was just an estimate for the gun and everything else. We're not really sure how much it's really going to cost yet, but I figured I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. And of course, comes to worse, any extra will go towards the savings. A thousand dollars towards homeschooling this year. Um, I don't really think I'm going to spend that much, but again, I'd rather overestimate than underestimate, and then just put the difference towards savings or something else. Five hundred dollars towards. Uh, Emily, that's my stepmother. She wants to come visit us, um, hopefully uh, March or April, and I would like to help her pay towards that. A thousand dollars extra on bills. Um, electric, three hundred dollars. Internet, a hundred dollars. My husband's cell phone, three hundred dollars. Magic Jack, which is our house phone, eighty dollars. Uh, my daughter's cell phone, ninety dollars. That should. These two things here should be covered for the next year. Uh, the Magic Jack actually will be covered for the next five years. That's why I'm paying so much. It's actually only like, I think, 20 or $30 a year. I think it's $30 a year, but they're running a special right now that if we pay it by the end of the month, we'll be able to get five years for 79 some and some change. So that's why I rounded it to 80 And car insurance, $130. And my husband has this idea in his head that he wants to do some sort of valentine's or anniversary present so i just put 500 dollars for that i have a feeling he's not going to spend that much but i since i have no idea what it is i figured i'd overestimate and be safe and sorry so if, if worse comes to worse the rest of this will either any excess from this will either go towards the emergency savings fund or towards our um our goal of beefing up our savings for what I'm going to mention over here. So our financial goals this month is to get at least three months ahead on at least one bill and two months ahead on at least two bills. Now I'm thinking with the tax return we'll actually exceed that with no problem but again we'll, we'll see. Buy swimsuits for the kids and save $1,112 towards emergency savings, birthdays, and Christmas. Those are our budgets for birthdays and Christmas. That's for all the birthdays in our household, and that's for everyone for Christmas this year. So um, I had figured it out, and I know that I would like to save at least $1,000 between these two things and then $1,000 for that. So um, if we get our tax return by the end of February, uh, as they said then we will exceed this goal as well. But again, I don't know when that's going to come, so we shall see on that. So that is our budget for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave me any comments below letting me know um, what you guys think, if there's anything that I might be missing or lacking in. And um, until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.